We all watched in horror last night as DeMar Hamilton made just what will be a, a, considered a normal football play. Last night at the 5.58 mark in the first quarter, just made a regular football play on, on wide receiver T. Higgins in the first quarter. He, he made the tackle, and when he got up, he stood up. He stood straight up on his feet, and then he fell straight back down to the ground. And everybody, and you can see the, the the players just move out of move out of his way. But at, at at some point, pandemonium broke loose because the man just stopped breathing on the field. He, he, it was a sad thing. Players were crying. Everybody was frustrated. People was 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 they didn't know what to do. We had never seen nothing like this. But the Buffalo defensive back Demar Hamilton was in critical condition early Tuesday after the bill says heart stop following a tackle during a Monday night football game, which was indefinitely postponed. postponed. Hamilton collapsed on the field during the first quarter of the nationally televised game against the Cincinnati Bengals and was given medical treatment for nearly 20 minutes before being taken to the hospital. DeMar suffered a cardiac arrest following a hit on a game versus the Bengals. His heartbeat was restored on the field and he was transferred to UC Medical Center for further testing and treatment. The bill said in a statement, he is currently sedated and listed in critical condition and you can, we, we witnessed them doing CPR uh, to restore his heart for about 15 to 20 minutes on the field. Players were uh, uh, at a knee, people were crying, people were praying, everybody was stuck. Because like as we said, it was just a, it was just a regular football move. He, he made the tackle, uh, T. Higgins got up, he stood up, and then he just went straight back down. <clears throat> John Rooney, a family representative who described himself as a good friend of the player, told ABC's Good Morning America on Tuesday that Hamilton's relatives are in good spirits, but going through a lot in the need of their privacy. He declined to give details on Hamilton's conditions other than say he's sedated. All I can say is he's, he's a fighter, he's fighting. Rooney said, in a chilling scene, Hamilton was administered CPR on the field, ESPN reported, while surrounded by teammates, some of, some of them in tears, while they shielded him from public view. He was hurt while he was hurt while tackling receiver T. Higgins and a seemingly routine play that didn't appear unusually violent. The NFL announced Hamilton conditions shortly after he was taken to the hospital, but neither the league nor the hospital released any other details about the 24-year-old's medical condition. The team's statement was released before a flight back to uh, back to Buffalo early Tuesday. There was no immediate update on the future, on on his status. On the play, the six-foot, 200-pound Hamilton was injured. Hamilton led with his right shoulder, which hit the defensive back in the chest. Hamilton then wrapped his arm around around, tick, around Higgins' shoulders and helmet to drag him down. Hamilton quickly got up to his feet but appeared to adjust his face mask with his right hand and fell back towards uh, about three seconds and laid there motionless. Hamilton was treated on the field by a team of independent medical personnel and local paramedics. He was taken to by ambulance to the University of Cincinnati uh, Medical Center. Teammates Stefan Diggs later joined Hamilton at the hospital. About a one about 100 Bills fans and a few Bengals fans gathered on the corner of the block of the emergency room entrance. Some of them holding candles. Jeff Miller, an executive NFL president. Uh, Jeff Miller, an NFL executive vice president, told reporters on a conference call early Tuesday that the league had made no plans at this time to play the game, adding that Hamilton's health was the main focus. And this is, you know, like I said, this is a sad thing, sad day for, you know, many people and his, and his family. You know, you, we saw Joe Barrow. We saw a lot of the players just crying. Hamilton's collapse was around 8.55 8 p.m. when he was taken off the field about 19 minutes later in what seemed to be like an eternity because they was trying to restore his heart. They didn't want to move him. Uh, the Bills gathered The bills gathered in, pr in prayer a few minutes after the ambulance left the field. The game was suspended, and players walked off the field slowly and into their locker rooms where they awaited no where they awaited word on Hamilton and the game. I've never seen anything like since I've been playing NFL executive Troy Vinson, a six time Pro Bowl quarterback set during his um during his during his career. Immediately my player uh hat went on. Like, how do I resume playing after seeing such a traumatic uh event in front of you? 
Hamilton's uniform was cut off as, as he was attended to by medical personnel, ESPN reported in the telecast that Hamilton was given, uh, also given oxygen. Man, this is, I, I, it, it never crossed my mind to talk about uh, warming up to resume play, Troy Vincent said. That's ridiculous. That's insensitive. Uh, that's not a place um, we, should, we should be in. Vincent said the Bills were returning uh, early Tuesday morning to the team facility in, uh, Orchard, in Orchard Park, New York, with the exception of a few players who stayed, who stayed behind. Now, we know that um, his family also issued a statement. Uh, you know, about, you know, and thank you and all the things that was going on. But the timeline here was at 8.55, um, at 8.55 uh, East Coast time is when you had the injury. The game was suspended at 9.18. Uh, at 9.25, the ambulance leaves the stadium. At 10.01, the game was finally postponed. From here, the family also issued. On behalf of our family, we want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to, De to DeMar during his challenging times. We are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. We also want to acknowledge the dedicated first responders and healthcare professionals at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center who have provided exceptional care to, De to DeMar. We feel so blessed to be part of the Buffalo Bills organization and have and have their support. We also want to thank Coach Teller and the Bengals for everything that they've done. Your generosity and compassion means the world to us. Please keep Damar in your prayers. We will release updates as soon as we have them. Thank you, the Hamlin family. So, like I said, you know, and also this young, this 24-year-old young man had had a nonprofit organization. Where he was looking to raise just twenty five hundred dollars for his organization, and but after this, after this tragedy happened, uh, donators from all over the country, it's almost up to four million dollars now. He's raised almost four million dollars for his donation to help uh, toys and to help things with children. So it it surged in donations just overnight. You know, he was a he was drafted in the sixth round by the Buffalo Bills in two thousand twenty one. Played 14 games as a rookie and became and then became the starter this year. Once Michael Hyde was lost for the season with an injury, you know, like I said, this is a this is a, a tragic event. Uh, this young man was laying on his back for 19 minutes while they were trying to restore life into him. Entering and entering the game, Hamilton had 91 tackles, including 63 solo tackles and one and a half sacks. You know, uh, a tweet from. Uh, Pittsburgh football account was simple and clear. Damar is the best of us. We love you. We love you three. The tweet said, referring to Hamilton by his college jersey jersey number. We're praying for you. So everybody's praying for this young man all over the country. Um, I'm going to cut this short here. Uh, as more of this story come out, I'll come out with more of it. But until then, keep him in your prayers. <coughs> and make sure you guys hit that like button. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.